Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're watching WYTV. You know, uh, we are global. I always tell you, we connect, go anywhere. All around the world, at the World Wisdom Yard Television. My name is Sidon J. Omo Yagba, the only Idon on Wisdom Yard Television. And on Saturday like this, you know, this is where I hang out with celebrities. And I don't just hang out with them. I talk about some other celebrities before. I will not talk about the celebrity I'm hanging out. So this is where you are going to be hearing things. All this uh, rumor where they talk up and down. Now for here, you go hear the Yogbonge, you understand? The original, the fact. That's what, so that's what we do here. And don't forget that the sponsor for this show is Nokpa Abbas and King Victor Nigeria Enterprises. So today, hmm, we are we going to, I'm hanging out with, I'm hanging out with one artist in Nigeria that, if you know go school, if you don't, if you are, if you are not well educated, or you are you are lyrics, you are someone that that need, that that do catch up on lyrics. You understand? You cannot listen to his music. I'm talking about no other person that Arambe, yeah, Timo Peda, Karaema Pa, Kadarada, Umbe, Brimo, yeah, Brimo is my uh, celebrity for today and you know Brimo no be small artist forget anything say anything anything since Brimo came into the limelight you know gained uh, the, 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 the uh, acceptance from the from Nigerian fans and he has been doing well me I love Brimo because every day if I want to sleep now Brimo will listen to he, he get one uh, album like that I've forgotten the title of that album you know the, the tracks in that album Meji meji la da yo, meji meji la da yo. If I want to, as a this guy, too, he's too good lyrically, you know, his voice, everything about Bremo, I love it. So Bremo is my artist that I'm hanging out with today, my only celebrity of today. Now you get today, Bremo, forget anything. But before we talk about Bremo, I have lots of gist for you guys about some celebrities. You know, talking about uh, foreign, if not foreign, no, Nigeria, Africa, everywhere. Any celebrity news that comes our way, we bring it to you guys so that you can know what is going on, what is being updated on every uh, media. You know, you understand? So today, the first one I'm going to be talking about is about Tupac, Tupac Shakur. You know, uh, Tupac is an American rapper, he's a gangster, you know, the guy, lyrically, He's blessed, you know, he's swag, everything. But then, you know, I was, it, was a, it was a painful thing that most of us that listen to Tupac, eh, we don't know him, we don't know him for face normally, to be sincere. Most of us that listen to his songs, uh, because uh, Tupac was uh, an artist that is well known in uh, the, the US for his kind of rap, you know, he's deep in lyrics and, you know, the, the poetic aspect of it is 100. I don't know. I don't know if you listen to any. If you've listened to any Tupac song before, ah, I'm on, that guy they rap. Forget anything. So, uh, do you actually know that since where they don't kill Tupac, since 1990, since where they don't kill Tupac, Tupac, they don't do investigation. You know, say, I, I'm telling you guys that this Mobad case. If the police really wants to work, they will get it. Asap, they will get what they want to get. Asap and give us what's up. The the justice. But because country different from country, forget. Do you actually know that Tupac that have died since uh, way back, so many years back? Now, yesterday, you know, believe it, it was yesterday they arrested a suspect that killed Tupac. Like one of the suspects that a few killed Tupac it was just yesterday. I know, yesterday. As in, I was so amazed, like, wow. So. You know, if in the Niger, they could all lost the fire since they could all say the case, ah, we lost the fire, don't say that. Or maybe ah uh, the, 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 the investigation room, uh, fire could all burn everything. You understand? I don't know why we could not uh, you know emulate things like this from uh, these foreigners because it's a very good thing for uh, justice to prevail. So a uh, Nevada grand jury has indicted 60-year-old uh, Dwayne. Kefe D. Davis in the murder of legendary American rapper Tupac Shakur. Now, I want you guys to know that. You know, there was a trending news uh, rumor that Tupac was of the same age with uh, Mobad. You know, Tupac died at age 20, uh, 25. Yes, that's the truth. He was 25 when he, when he died. Mobad was 27. I don't know people where they carry all this rumor, but I say Mobad and Tupac, they, they died of the same age, they 27, 20. No. No, although they were born in the same month, and uh, you know, 
I don't know where these uh, people, these philosophers, I don't know where they get the age from that uh, Tupac was 27. No, Tupac died at the age of 25, Why Mubad died at the age of 27. They didn't die of the same age. Hmm. So now, but I was asking myself, that Tupac with me at the sea, be like a 40-year-old guy. I know that. I want, uh, is it only me that is risen like that? Because it doesn't even look younger to me. Tupac's face is just... Ah, I don't know, but then his age was 25 years old, but Mubad was 27 years old. Well, uh, Kev D, who is said to be the uncle of one of the Tupac's known rivals, uh, Orlando Anderson, was arraigned before the court by the Las Vegas police. Ah, hmm, voila. Tupac died after being shot multiple times. No more gangsta for US, no be like all these uh, uh, Nayamali, uh, Samlario. They, sh they shoot themselves every time when they meet themselves anywhere, anywhere. Pa, 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 po, po, po. So um, Tupac was shot uh, multiple times. He was shot uh, at the age of uh, 25 and he was shot 25 times. 25 times. We have bullets to enter. But then, until Friday, there have been, uh, there have never been any arrest on that case until Friday. When they arrest this man, say now nah, he be person we kill Tupac. Since all these days, well, uh, Tupac Shakur was just a legend in uh, USA. Uh, when it comes to music industry in USA, forget it. Even in the world, no one, uh, everyone knows Tupac. Uh, so uh, it's just like the death of Mubad. You know, Mubad is a legend now because the whole world knew about his death, and we, people are still, you know, talking about him every day because the case. He's still under investigation how Boba got to die at an early stage of his life, you know. And again, uh, we are, we've been hearing uh, different news that Mobad's burial would be uh, so interesting uh, because uh, they got new coffin and, you know, new space for him. But then, that is that about Tupac. Oh, they don't see Pesuway Key Tupac. Now, wait till we see. Uh, now, wait till we hear. All right, the next one I'm going to be talking about is uh, this famous... Nollywood actress, Yabo Ojo. Mm. No, say Yabo Ojo. Him a very dark black man. Be waiting that they call that one. They suppose they the same. They be roommates. They the drag people. But then, uh, Yabo Ojo has threatened to send a controversial Nigerian journalist, Kemi Olu lawyer, back to prison. No, <laughs> say if you get. If you get history that you've been to prison before, maybe person constantly threatening you, say, that prison where you come back, where you come from, eh, you they go back there. I'm telling you. So it was a uh, Yabo Ojo that was telling Kemi Olu lawyer that don't worry, I will send you back to that prison. She be no one the year one. So what happened? What actually happened was that yesterday on live video, I uh, did for yesterday, yes, on live video when Yabo Ojo and Toto Dike was being seen at uh, uh, a place where they got the coffin to bury Mubad. You know, the man that owns the place said he's not going to collect any dime for anybody that is going to bring, uh, give out the coffin for free and um, the space. In at a Koyi cemetery uh, to bury Mubad. Now, Kemi Olu lawyer now reacted to that video that ah, what Yabojo has done is a bad thing because Mubad is too young uh, for her to be casting the coffin they are going to bury him. That is too bad for okay, for uh, what was her name Yabojo to have been done like I don't know. She said she had a point though. She said in Yoruba culture it is bad uh, for. The, to, to buy coffin for that kind of uh, young uh, boy. Uh, so, and, and again, you are not even respecting the fact that uh, we have culture in Yoruba land. You are now exposing uh, the coffin of a young boy, not even an adult or an old, uh, you know, an old man or woman. Uh, it's just uh, like you trying to portray that if your son or daughter should die, you are, you are exposing the coffin of your daughter or your son. That was what Kemi Olu lawyer was trying to tell uh, Yabojo on our on Instagram page yesterday, but Yabojo not even hear what she thought. Say, okay, now me, you want the drag. Okay, that prison that you come out from, you're going back there. So uh, I feel they are just trying to chase cloud because I don't know the reason why mobile death, eh? Go, what if mobile death go cost? We never know. We still there on top of him. Because now, although posting about uh, the coffin and all, I don't see it as a normal thing. As a good thing, though, because it is not like we are happy that Mubad died. But although it's good to give him a befitting burial, but not like the way you are now casting it as if Mubad has spent like 150 years on earth, like you are happy to bury him. No. Well, Kemi Lula has said, 
um, uh, Yabojo does not act like a Yoruba woman. She is following Toto Dike's leg because Toto Dike doesn't even know anything about Yoruba culture. And Kemi Olulo, your um, Mubad, Mubad died in a very bad way that people are still looking at it like, what killed this guy? And you are there posting about his uh, coffin. So that is what Kemi Olulo was saying before uh, uh, Yabojo now said, you, you want to drag me, Abi? I will drag you back to prison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you also can, uh, uh, well, still on the matter, you know, uh, on Thursday, uh, Yabojo visited a popular funeral home in Lagos, Ebony Vault, alongside actress Toto Dike to decide on a choice of casket and to finalize the plans to, of singer Mobad final befitting burial ceremony. Now, wait, I want to ask a question. Befitting final burial ceremony for Mobad? No. You let us look at this matter very well. Is it, is, it, is it normal, like, people sitting down, eating, people dancing at that kind of barrier? No. If you want to bury Mubad, bury him. Nobody is, uh, you know, uh, giving you any problem on that. But, but you having a befitting barrier, you know, having a party, people trying to dance, you know, cooking and all. No. No, 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 no. That's too bad. Mubad is too young for that kind of thing. That means you're celebrating his death. We are not happy that he's, that he's dead. You understand? But now you said you want to give him a befitting burial by doing a party, organizing a party. Why? No, 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 no. I'm not going to accept that. I don't know if uh, uh, you guys are, are going with me because this, this uh, Yabo Joe's uh, matter and Toto I don't know. Maybe they want to use this uh, mobile burial to cash out. Nobody knows because everybody has been using mobile's death as a case study, they are using it as a means uh, to extort uh, people's money because we actually saw it online that Ushe Madwagu, who is an actor, also said some people gave him 3 million naira to shade something on the death of Mobad. You know, every, different people are just using different strategy, you know, to make money uh, during this uh, course of uh, justice for Mobad, justice for Mobad. Nobody loved that boy uh, like that too. Nobody said they like him. To be sincere. But then that is that about that. The next one I'm going to be talking about is uh, uh, this, uh, what's, it, what's her name? Uh, Sissy, a big brother Niger uh, housemate that won an SUV innocent car. Yes, uh, because she, she won a task and she won a task and she's, she was a winner and she had to be given an SUV new, brand new Oshasha. Oshashaka, yes. Big Brother Niger All Star housemate Cynthia Umwadiora, aka CC, has won a brand new car in the reality show, which is Big Brother Niger. Yes, she achieved the feat on Friday after winning the Innocent Task, which comes with a brand new SUV, uh, the, in the Innocent Ekenga. Innocent Ekenga, yes. And uh, she actually uh, won a uh, cross on this, uh, on this task and she was very happy to have won this car, this brand new car, SUV. Niger made or Chacha, you go feel what kind of street for Niger. He struck that. <laughs> you shout out to CC, congratulations on that. And uh, big shout out to Big Brother because you guys have been giving us back to back. <laughs> uh, we, we are expecting to see the winner soon uh, because me, I know if you wait for person we're going to win that 120 million. But if you almost all the housemates uh, in that house, they get past 120 million, Jari. They just the bubble us. I beg you. Look now, rest more. Let's uh, move on to the next one. I'm uh, talking about uh, my guest and my celebrity of today. Olawale Braimo. Yes, Braimo is my guest, my celebrity that I'm hanging out with today. So, in case you don't know, we're still on celebrity hangout, and this is how we do it. We just talk about celebrities, news about them, and things that is going on in their lives. But then, you know, I cannot do without going to market because hmm, if I not go, hmm, something will happen. I want to say market if you not go market. Let's go on a short commercial break oh, uh, before we come back and talk about Olawale Braimo for what he has been doing and so many things about him, Sha. Let's go on a short commercial break. I'm still here. Don't go nowhere. Sweetheart. I can't afford to be late for this meeting. You gave me the same excuse every day. I always tell you the truth every... You know I will never disappoint you.
Everyone needs a hero, like Nokpa. I'll stand Nokpa. It is always Nokpa. <laughs> <laughs> Nokpa for management of power. Right, you welcome back from that short commercial break, and you know that's our sponsor, uh, Nokpa Abba, that produces Nokpa Abba Bitter, Abba Flusher, Abba Cool, Abba Tonic. You know, many products from Nokpa and Wisdom Yard Nigeria Limited, they uh, all are very essential. You should get one, please. Get one. I especially that Nokpa Abba Bitter. I, mean, I know they joke with Samuel because uh, now they work for all this place with the papers, eh? you go to work for them. You know, you go strong where we're for bed. We cannot, no, we will talk now. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about my celebrity I'm hanging out with today, Brymo. Yes, but before I, I, I say things about Brymo, let me talk about our, our Brymo last interview on TV. You know, Brymo said a lot. Yeah, I don't say Brymo, they talk like this. So, hey, whoa, Brymo, enter anybody, enter the video, enter Whiskey, enter Bonner Boy. He talks to all of them, they are fake. Yes, he said they are thieves. I don't know, not be me talking. Now, Brian Motoka, I said Bonner Boy, especially Bonner Boy, he laid, he laid emphasis on Bonner Boy too much. He said Bonner Boy is a thief. Hey, wahala. But then, hmm, famous uh, artist, Maverick singer, Olawale Olofuoro, popularly known as Brian uh, has described Grammy winning mu musician Bonner Boy as sleazy, cheap, very unoriginal, and very fake. Ah, Opo. <laughs> for Brymo to come out like this, I'm the guy get level, I swear down. <laughs> but although he has a point, uh, saying Brymo's last album uh, that got the Grammy Award was uh, different, uh, has different things in it. And he was saying people are already seeing Afrobeat, they are taking Afrobeat as something else, that that is not how Baba Fela, uh, you know, uh, created Afrobeat, that they've turned it to another thing. Talking about whiskey, Davido, and uh, Bonner Boy. Well, the Arakuna also said that Bonner Boy didn't deserve to win the Grammy for his fifth studio album, uh, Twice as Tall, stressing that it lacks originality and most of his songs are samples. Yes, let me talk about that because you know, sometimes when we hear things from all these artists, you, you go to say maybe because say you don't like Bonner Boy, now why they talk like this on top of him? No, I reason with him because if you check one song, uh, this last last, you don't cast last last. Now everybody go to breakfast. It's a sample of an American song. Someone has used that beat before. A lady, yes. And the lady was the lady actually performed that. I don't. I, I forgot it. Lady performed that one uh, important event like that. So I think Butter Boy used the beat, the same beat, just like the way they created that beat. So they recreated that last last beat. To be sincere. I was surprised when I saw the lady, the original, uh, the, let me say, the legit owner of that song, of that sound. So most of Bonner Boy's song now, nah, the, um, Brian now said most of his songs are not original. So he also called out uh, Whiskey and the video, describing them and Bonner Boy as thieves who are stealing from Fela's Afrobeat sacrifices. Well, Brian, to, to say that, you know, uh, I could say music is just something that is being rebirth. Like it's just like a rebirth. You know, uh, there is no new thing on this world, you know, that you want to say you want to create your own. It is just the fact that they are not doing it the way you think they should do it. They are not doing it the way you are doing it. Doesn't mean that they are not doing it. It is their own way of doing it. So I feel sometimes when you are wondering you want to talk on an interview as an artist, you should mind what you will say because sometimes the fans that of the people you are trying to hear or talk about, they are still your fan. And if you talk something that is bad about them, they may leave you and you know, they may feel like maybe you are just a uh, uh, sadist that is trying to uh, shade uh, your fellow, your colleagues uh, out of the old scene and all. So, uh, Brian, I love you for your courage and I love you for the kind of song you sing. I love you for... But please, don't drag anybody. Just be on your own. Just be, you know they follow. Any. Now I like whiskey. Whiskey, you know they drag with anybody. Whiskey, you know they talk to anybody. You don't get anybody time. Kiss Daniel, they know they talk to anybody. As they do your thing, they make money, they flex. 
Just leave anybody, even if you, the question has been thrown to you, just, it's a competitive market, you know. Uh, music industry is a competitive market. Just do your thing and leave any other person. But although we know the truth, everybody knows the truth, though. But then, you coming out to say that, so I feel, even if, if uh, some of the part of the world, some other people that is not even African or they are not Niger uh, people, they will see it like maybe there is beef. Uh, between uh, in between you guys so uh be shout out to brimo i love every one of you guys that is making nigeria proud out there talking about brimo uh bonaboy whiskey the video any other artist out there that is making it big in the music industry god bless everybody because me i don't like the situation whereby an artist will be shading his fellow artists uh, because you want to you know talk things that people will uh, go well with you on an interview i don't go with that so we don't need to be doing that we don't need to be shading us although if you want to say the truth you can call them one-on-one -on -one, or maybe even you are talking between yourselves you can actually say things like that but you coming out to say eh bona boy is fake uh, the video is fake, whiskey is fake. I beg, the whole world, they respect these three boys, so, to, to be sincere. The whole world, nobody will not recognize the video, whiskey, and burner. So you as a Nigerian artist, that you, you, are, you guys are doing the same business, you know, you are not trying to shade them uh, in, a, in a negative form. You know, it's not going to be a good thing for us out there. Before we shade ourselves, uh, let us check ourselves. Nobody is holy, nobody knows how to do it well. You know, you can just do it the way you can. That's just what I would say. But then, uh, Olawale Oloforo, Olo, 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 born Olawale Ibrahim Ashimi, nine, uh, May 1986. He was born May 9, 1986. That is talking about Brimo. Who is better known as Brimo? He's a Nigerian singer, songwriter, sonic artist, actor, and author who was born and raised in Okukomaiko. That is in Lagos State. Wow. Brimo started recording music in, in 1999 while in secondary school. He signed a record uh, recording contract with music record label Chocolate City 2010 but was accused of breaching his contract in 2013. Now, at that time when Brimo came into the scene, forget it, that song that Brimo took the hook was 100% dope. Holy cool, tell me something way I know if you do. You know, some Indomie generation don't you know this kind of song where they sing normally because they don't listen to Ice Prince. Ice Prince of money. Hey, okay, I'm so impressing. This is why I don't say that I'm the best thing. Maybe do hey, but I'm, hey, I'm on that song. Eh? That time, I used that song to take and uh, date so many girls from my school that time. <laughs> that time, I did secondary school. <laughs> when they drop only cool blessing on my final year for secondary school, I be I just finished. But all those girls where they come my way, I will just start to the rap for them. Okay, that's the first thing. The thing, the thing, the thing. I will just talk nonsense. But then it was Brimo that really made that song to look more interesting because the song is dope. I swear to God, thank God that Brimo has a very good voice. The voice texture and you know. No, 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 100% for that song, really cool. And after that, he sang another song. There was a, uh, in, uh, it was an album, um, uh, M.I.'s album. He took a, uh, a, 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 a an hook on M.I. album, uh, talking about uh, M.I. 2, yes, M.I. 2, the movie. M.I. 2, the movie, yeah, I remember that track. What's your card that? Left, left, right, nah, nah, what's your damn fool? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, 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 I'm back. I'm lying to take you for a ride. Yeah, I'll be your superman. I'll take you to this guy. So for me, come to see me. Cause I'm the actor for this action film. Mm, 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 there's one particular song that really trends that time too. Good morning, no more gay, baby, me, how you do? To the old fine girl, I'm singing this for you. My shave in the shit, tell me how you do. Hey, super me, I'm a girl, this one is for you. Oh, yeah, she be a young girl, hey, be a young girl. Zure de te, my lale, hey. Oh, yeah, wake up, wake up. I I like that song, this song in my head. To be sincere, that song, ah, he enter. Well then, uh, Brimo released his debut studio album, Brimstone, in 20, 2007. That was the first studio album. Uh, his second studio album, The Son of a Carpenter, was released in 2012 and was supported by the singles, Ah, Aramre, yay, 
Ti wo fada ye kara e ma pa kadara da o me we no know that song that me say that they just born you <laughs> you be in the generation well uh good morning and go ad it's to the album merchants dealers and slaves which was released on 20 october 2013 received positive reviews uh, from music critics, critics and was supported by the singles Down and Echo Echo. Ah, I'm uh, Brian Moon, a better artist, forget. Well, Brian Moon has won several awards and he has been nominated for several awards. You know, his type of a song, his type of music uh, could win him many awards, you understand? And I love the fact that Brian Moon is not just an artist. He's an author and he's a songwriter. At the same time, he's a sound engineer. Brian Sabi sound very well. And that is why he loves to work with the likes of Simi. And, you know, I, I miss Brian in Chocolate City because he was one of the uh, front man of Chocolate City, you know. And uh, big shout out to M.I. that made us to know Brian because if M.I. not sign Brian that time, we feel not know Brian uh, you know. So, all right, guys, I, I, I think I've been able to tell you things about Brian Olawale Olofor. That's his name. That's his, oh, man, that name. <laughs> that name meant an a real confirmed original Ijile Yoruba name. <laughs> you understand? So, my name still remains the same. My own name now is Sidon J. Omoyagba, the only Idon on Wisdom Yard Television. Thank you so much uh, for joining me on this particular live talking about celebrity anger. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your weekend and don't fight entertainment. Now, I'm Bidi Koko.